Hello. Today we're going to go over how to use the spectral angle mapping algorithm tool in Envy. Spectral angle mapper, or SAM as we call it for short, is an algorithm used to find spectra of interest. It's basically a spectral matching algorithm. Uh, there's an explanation of it in our user manual that goes into more detail about how the algorithm works and how it actually matches the spectrum. So to use Spectral Angle Mapper, first you have to have a spectral library. And in one of the earlier tutorials, we covered building a spectral library manually and using regions of interest. And so now we're going to build a spectral library really quick just to demonstrate how to use this tool. So in this example, I have a cell with some gold nanoparticles that I've been using in the other tutorials as well. And I'm going to quickly just capture some spectra here and show you how to use the SAM feature. So the first thing I want to do is capture some spectra. So I'm just going to go over here. And I right click to show the spectrum live. I'm going to click around in some different areas. And I'm just going to capture a few spectra from these particles, and then we're just going to save these as a spectral library as we've done in previous tutorials. And then we're going to open up the spectral angle mapping algorithm to show you how it works. And so quickly here, I'm just going to right click the spectral profile window here and go to collect spectra. And so now this is live, so I can click other places and collect a couple of spectra, which I'm doing over here. Also, we can, we, we can zoom in, and once you have clicked in this window, you can use the arrow keys on your keyboard to move around to different pixels. So I, I have a few here. So I'm just gonna quickly save this, save plot as spectral library. Now we've collected eight, hit select all. And now I'm gonna name this file. So I'm going to just name it on the desktop here as AUNP-SLF. And I usually use SLF just to tell myself it's a, this is a spectral library file. And I hit OK. So now this is on the desktop and as well here it shows up in the available bands list. So now I'm going to open up the spectral mapping algorithm tool. And up here in the main Envy menu, if you go to Spectral Mapping Methods, it's Spectral Angle Mapper. So we launch it. And the first thing it wants to know is what, what image are we, or what image or what data cube are we going to search for the spectrum in? So obviously we want to search for these spectrum in, in this image here with the cell and these particles outside the cell. So I'm going to highlight the image I want to search for the spectra in. Let me hit OK. And now this end member collection dialog comes up. This is basically asking you what spectra are we looking for. So there's several ways to import uh, spectra into here. You can actually right click this plot key and you can click and drag spectra in here. But the easiest thing to do, I'm just going to delete this one, is to import from a spectral library file. And this one is open already because we just created it. But if it wasn't open, we could go to New File and navigate to the desktop, and it's down here, AUNPSLF. So again, this gives you the preview of all the spectra we're going to import. I can hit Select All. If you only wanted to import one of these, you could just highlight one of them, but we obviously want to see where all of these spectra exist in this image, so I'm going to highlight all of them. None of this other information needs to be changed. So now all of the eight spectra are loaded here, and you don't need to change anything. Uh, this is, you can assign colors by right-clicking and making all of these red, but if you just default these, um, let me select all and import these again. If you import them and you don't check any of these 
boxes here and leave these to none, what it will do is it will create a color map for each one of these eight spectra. So you'll have a, a map overlay that shows matches and each color is identified as a particular spectra. You might want to see each of these individually colored differently or there's a way after it's classified that you can actually merge them and make them all one color. Usually red is the easiest color to see in dark field imaging um, against the dark background. Red's the easiest one to see or green. So here I'm going to select all and I hit apply. So all of these are being thrown into the, the search algorithm. Here the angle in radians. Um, this is basically the um, threshold of how picky it's going to be for a match and we recommend not changing this at all. Just by changing this uh, a little bit, like this is 0.1, so it's a 0.1 radian, which is a tenth of one degree of an angle. And if you read the explanation of how SAM works, there's some visuals in the manual that, that show you how these angles work with matching between data points in the spectra. But we're going to leave this at 0.1. If you change it just a little bit, you'll it'll either be, if you increase this, it's going to map spectra that aren't uh, a perfect match or aren't as close of a match and if you drop this below 0.1 we find that it's it's way too picky and it, it actually will not classify pretty much anything at all. So this is a great default value. Here you can output the result to a file uh, or just to memory which means it'll just save it into memory up here in this available bands list. And you can also save it later after it's gone to memory but, but here we'll we'll make a name and I'm just going to call it A-U-N-P-S-L-F. So we know that's the spectral library, and then just put SAM for spectral angle mapper. So this next dialog is output rule images. <clears throat> we always click no. These rule images are basically, it will uh, if you have yes checked, it will create a black and white image for every one of these spectra. And it's a, basically a grayscale image of this entire image here, except uh, the grayscale indicates the, the level of matching for each spectra to the image, and it's not something that we really find useful at all, so we check no. And basically, when we're done, what this is going to produce is what's called a classification file. A classification file is a file type in NV that can be overlaid onto um, an image or uh, a hyperspectral data scan. So I'm going to hit OK. And now it's searching for all eight of these spectra in every single pixel in this image. So now it's done. And when it's done, you'll see this colored checkerboard icon here. This is what's called a classification file in Envy. This is nothing but a file that is the exact same size of the file that SAM or Spectral Angle Mapper ran over. It's the same size in terms of how, how large it is, pixels, how, how many pixels it is, the dimension. And there's black pixels for pixels that did not classify in this image. And then there are colored pixels where there are matches. So we'll have eight different colors here until we merge them all. And we can look at this file either on its own or overlaid over this image. So first I'll show you this file on its own. So if we right click and go to load band into new display, this loads like a normal image with a zoom window and a scroll window. I'll go ahead and expand it to make it. I'll hide this for now. So now we're seeing these two images side by side. And we see the, the, the black pixels here are no matches, and the colored pixels here are matches. Um, we can look at this overlaid onto here. We can also link these displays. If you right-click either of these, you can go to Link Displays. And we're actually going to link these, so we just leave this yes, yes. And now, if we click on this image with the left mouse button, it shows you the overlay. You can toggle back and forth, and the same over here. You can use the middle mouse button to draw areas and then 
if you click and hold, it sort of creates a window that sort of shows you where these matches are. It's kind of neat. And if we right click, we can unlink, unlink these displays. So the easiest way to do this is for me uh, is just to overlay this. So in the original data scan here in the image window, if we go to file or overlay classification, because that's the type of file we created, and we select our SAM file that we made and saved. So now this interactive class tool comes up where you can check these boxes. So this is the unclassified pixels. So now we're just looking at pixels that were classified through the mask that it makes here. If you right click any of these colored boxes, it's going to turn all of them on. So you can turn all of them on and then uncheck the classified. And then we can sort of see here where these pixels are classified. Uh, so to turn all of these the same color, I usually use red. It's the easiest color for me to see. So we go to Options, Merge, Classes. And always the first one after the unclassified will be red, which is convenient. So we can highlight this one is going to be the base class, and then we're going to merge the rest of these into this class that's red. So this is the base class. And then we go to every other one underneath it. I'm holding down shift. It's going to highlight the other seven. We hit OK. And so now every one of these will be turned off and on with this one. This is the master uh, spectra here that's turning them all off and on, except they're all being represented as, as red. And so once this is done, you can actually save this image as an image file. And it will actually save this as a TIFF or JPEG with this, this red overlay. And another bit of information that's useful is you can go to Options, Class Distribution. And this window will show you how many unclassified pixels or percentage of the Im there, Im image there is as opposed to these eight spectra that we classified and merged into just one. Uh, we have 6,000 pixels. So this gives you a rough idea of the distribution here. And we can save this as a text file if you wish. And so here, now that we've merged all of this together, uh, when we close it, it'll ask you if you want to save these changes. And we say yes. So now the next time you open this file, I'll load this again. You already have your SAM file made, so the next day you just want to look at it again, check it out. You can navigate to it, overlay it, and now it will have saved that information uh, of the classification plus that that you merged it all to one class, and you can you can turn off the turn on the unclassified too to sort of see. But this shows you some some positioning in the context of the image itself. So that's how to use spectral angle mapper. And I thank everyone for tuning in.